Now we come to the bullheaded liar, which is not a politician, but rather a musical instrument. And this was found in a king's grave. We're going to start with the bullhead itself. And by the way, this entire thing has been restored from very few parts. So there is a lot of assumption here when we look at the piece. The bullhead itself is covered in gold leaf, an expensive lapis uh, stone. Now, the lapis stone is expensive because it comes from Afghanistan. It's really the only source for lapis even today, which is why it is so expensive uh, even in today's market. The bullhead itself would have been wood and covered with gold leaf. In other words, very thin sheets of gold. And the reason for that is expense. You don't want to create a solid gold bull's head that's going to really wreck the treasury for your kingdom. The part we're looking at, though, is inlay. In other words, cutting out material and replacing it with another material. And that panel is right here. And if we go back, uh, that panel is actually beneath the head of the bull right here. And this is one of multiple reconstructions that we've seen of this piece. But this panel is particularly important. Now it's inlaid and we see these composite figures. We see sort of human and animal mixed. We see animals in different poses, mostly in strict profile, but some of them facing us, such as the bulls at the top. I believe that's Scotty Pippen and Kukoc. And we have this very heroic figure, especially the first figure at the top. And more than likely, this is speaking to the traits of the king, uh, a very physically strong king capable of holding these bulls, a king who rules over not just the city, but rather over nature itself, sort of king of man and king of the beasts. Now, this is particularly important because the wilderness is something that kills you at the time because they haven't invented Gore-Tex yet. So being the king over nature is sort of one step above simply a ruler of man. We see these twisting perspectives and each of these animals may represent a virtue and ability of a single man. So the bulls speaking to strength, the lion in the second register speaking to courage, um, the scorpion at the bottom possibly speaking to him being someone that you don't want to mess with necessarily. And we see these odd twisting forms, especially the man in the center at the top. You notice his legs are facing one way, his chest another. And that's unusual. But when you look at a human being, we recognize faces best from the front, not from profile. So this may be sort of a development, an artistic development in this piece where the artist is trying to experiment and play with different ideas. In terms of meaning, could be any number of things. This was found in a grave, so it probably has to do with the afterlife. It's probably providing music for this ruler in the afterlife. And this is probably speaking to his rule or an idealization of his rule, really because none of these kings are ever what they're represented as in art.